it's 6.30 on Thursday the 25th of July and I've set off from the campsite in the direction of Edinburgh and heading specifically for North Berwick uh, which I reckon is a distance of around about 10 miles and I'm following the path that I was following last Tuesday and that's the John Muir Way and this will take me all the way through Edinburgh and uh, on to Queen's Ferry to where the fourth bridge is. Now you may remember me telling you that my friend Ray Young who's from Ellesmere Port is coming over on Sunday. He's arriving up on Sunday and arriving here on Sunday afternoon and so he's not sure about whether he's going to do all of the walks and uh, we'll explain that in more detail when he comes and uh, but he's going to be there as a as my second set of wheels and sort of picking me up dropping me off that kind of thing and so the walk that I did on Tuesday when I collapsed at uh, Skate Row uh, that's going to be left until Ray comes because to get back to Skate Row is virtually impossible there's buses and things that go driving past it but there's nothing that stops there there's no way of getting there other than a taxi it's about five or six miles away and so that's the perfect situation of a difficult logistical kind of situation that Ray will be able to drive me out there drop me off and he can either walk with me or he can drive back down here and wait for me to re re reappear at the campsite so that seems to be a, the thing to do yeah just back to this incident is if what is what I'm going to call it I've spent the last well I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what happened and what I'm going to do about it and all this kind of thing and I'm amazed at the number of people who have written to me offering me some very sound advice and I do take notice and I've got to take notice I'm not stupid in that uh, I'm not flaunting with danger and I certainly don't want that to happen again I mustn't let that happen again and so I know what I've got to do and uh, I've listened to everybody and, and there's been some really good advice and I'm going to take it and I want this walk to continue and I don't want to be stupid about it and what I just simply put it down to is I didn't realise it was as hot as it was I just had a rest period in the cool I came walking out into hot sunshine again without a hat, walked up a steep hill I could feel my heart pounding I went dizzy and I, I was out cold for a while I don't know how long and that's the worry is if it was to happen to me again in the middle of nowhere like it did and away from people and, it, and that's going to happen the further north I get the less people I'm going to see once I get you know past say Aberdeen, Inverness and those kind of places I really am going to be on my own an awful lot of the time and so it's really important that I think really seriously about this and not take chances and just sort of be a lot more positive in what I'm doing eating, sleeping, drinking, distances walked, the, the, you know, everything I've just got to completely reappraise the whole situation because otherwise it could end in disaster simple as so it's time for action so that's enough of that for now I'll get to I'll, this is great to start at this time in the morning because it's cool I've got my hat on already even in bed last night I could feel my, my head was still burning from the other day I think that's the root cause I wasn't wearing a hat when I should have been wearing a hat and that's bloody stupid so lesson learned time to move on so it's time for me to say here we go see you Jimmy
Well, I've been walking for about maybe half an hour to an hour now, and I bumped into Zoe in this beautifully sheltered wood here. And Zoe's got this lovely dog with her, and, and I don't know what's your name? Willow. Willow. That's Willow, and she's five months, and she's so affectionate, and she's absolutely gorgeous. And she's going to be a big girl, aren't you? Hey, look at that. Yeah. So Zoe, I know we've just been chatting for a few minutes and, and you, you tell me you're, you, you've been, well I don't know if you still are or you have been an avid walker and you've done many of the big walks, the South West Coastal Path and you know lots of other things and, and uh, do you still get involved with walking now? Yes I do, I belong to a walking group so yes. I walk with them and then in September a friend and I are walking part of the Portuguese Camino. Oh really? Yeah. So looking oh. forward to that. Oh right. So you are serious then, isn't it? Is yeah. It... We're not doing we're not doing a huge amount of it because my friend's been very unwell, so we need right. to take it gently. Right. But we're just really looking forward to a week's really good walking. Excellent. Is that the five hundred? Is that the is that? No, the that's the, that's the that's the Spanish one. Ah right. Uh, okay. This so is the Portuguese. This is the Portuguese ah, one. Ah, that's fabulous. Which is more. Which is gentler. Lovely. And and do you do any other walks abroad then, or? or I haven't done a huge amount. Um, Although I walk when I'm, whenever I'm away, I always yes, walk. Yes. But I've, I've mainly done distance walks in the UK because I love it. Yeah, it's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful countryside. I mean, having just more or less been around, around the whole of England and Wales, you know, uh, where I was struggling quite badly in, for the last maybe two or three weeks, purely because I was in, with absolutely no disrespect to Lincolnshire or parts of Norfolk, there wasn't a great deal to, to video and it was very mundane it was road walking a lot of the oh, time yes, I can there imagine. wasn't much of a coastal path you know one, once you get round that corner from Hunstanton yeah and there getting round much. the bottom of the wash it really is mundane walking yeah and and and, uh, and the logistics are difficult the bus services are difficult and, and, it, and it got me quite depressed if I'm to be honest oh dear so yeah. I was so pleased to get back to Grimsby which is where I started yeah. the walk 15 months ago and uh, and to be in pastures new and, and and every every minute of this walk's been terrific yeah you know, it's absolutely. beautiful it is beautiful and this coastline is fabulous yes and then because once you get onto the west coast it'd be amazing yes well i'm looking forward to that so you you were just mentioning fife once i get to the other side of queen's ferry and over the bridge yep you're onto the fife coastal path yes and, and you were saying there's parts of it that are not so good but but there are parts of it that are outstanding large good. parts of it that are really beautiful all yes. around the east nuke is fantastic yes and that's lovely walking oh and, good and it's it's just they're lovely small small towns yes um which are really beautiful in themselves excellent and then you get st andrews of course so yes, you go through st andrews yes i'm looking forward to that and, and I, I look i mean i don't spend too much time looking too far ahead but the one thing that impressed me about the five coastal path is there's there's, there's no massive kind of uh inlets and rivers no, and things to no. avoid it's pretty well pretty straightforward it's pretty straightforward until you get round the corner to go and then you have to walk a long way in to get across the bridge to dundee yes yeah. but that's fine yes yeah, so, well i can manage that yeah well it's been lovely meeting you and, and, you? and i could talk to you for ages well you know? enjoy the walk thank you thank okay. you very much indeed i've given you a card and stay oh, yeah. in touch i will It'll be stay very in nice. touch that would be good okay. thank you very much indeed okay thank you bye Cheers. bye now. bye bye come on go you're going now are you are you ready are you ready yeah. do you want oh look at this oh just look at you what a fabulous dog just look at that she's, she's great <laughs>
Well it's just gone 8 o'clock now, 8.06 to be precise. John Muir knew his stuff, didn't he, in this planning this walk and I don't know if it was him who thoughtfully put these lovely seats down at the appropriate places but what a wonderful walk this is, it's like great, you know what I mean? And I know I'm not by the coast because this this river does cut in quite a way but once I'm past the bottom of it it's just a straight walk up into North Berwick where I've been there before, they've got very sandy beaches so I won't be doing much walking on them but there is a coast path that runs more or less adjacent to the coast and uh, I'll be using that and I won't be walking much at all on the sand but uh, it's lovely out here, a little breeze has come up, it's just keeping it cool you notice I'm wearing my hat and uh, I'm walking well so I'm happy It's 9.15 now and uh, here I am with my first cup of tea for days and days and days <laughs> when I've been out walking and it's the cafe, it's actually not officially open until 9.30 but there's a very nice young lady here who's made me a pot of tea for free which I thought was very nice and that was because as I was walking up to the cafe and uh, she was also crossing the road and this young lady came along the, this from from some houses on, on a path and uh, in honesty she was going a little bit too fast and she braked because there was a bus coming along to stop at a bus stop and she fell off the bike and with a bit of a bang actually and s smashed her front teeth in and everything which was a real shame it was awful and so I give her a hand back to the house and everything and, and uh, she was very grateful, but she says, I'm going on a holiday to Mallorca tonight. <laughs> oh dear. She was in a terrible state, but she'll, she'll be okay. And, uh, but, ah, 
so I need a cup of tea after all that excitement. I don't know exactly where I am. I've got a choice here. I can go straight on along the road to North Berwick, or I can walk this way to East Lent Linton, which I think I will do, which will take me off the road and the traffic. I don't like that situation very much, as you know. And then it's not too far from there to North Berwick, so it's a glorious morning. I'm keeping my hat on. I'm doing as I'm told. I've given myself a right bollocking about this. And uh, so, you know, I've this is going to be on now for good. I'm not. I'm not messing around with the slightest risk. And, and the more I think about it, uh, um, the more I should have worn the hat in the past, uh, especially on an area where I used to keep grazing it constantly. When we lived in Bulgaria, the, the house had such a low ceiling, and I, I took the skin off it maybe twenty times over the years, and uh, it's always weakened it, and it's always made it soft and spongy and it's a dead target for the hot sunshine. I'm going to have to look after it or I'm going to have big trouble I know. I'm within an hour now of getting to North Break. I'm only a couple of hours, uh, sorry, a couple of miles away, and I've, I was walking past the gate of this uh, lovely little house here, and, and there's two people in the back, and they, they uh, asked me if I wanted to come in and, and, and sit and have a chat, and they gave me some water, and they've just given me some food and stuff. And this is Jim, and this is Janet, <laughs> and, and thank you for your very warm welcome. It's, it's a, a pleasure to sit and chew the fat with you two. You're real adventurers. You've been everywhere, and and uh, absolutely lovely to meet you, absolutely yeah, fabulous. Great, great to give you some cool water on such a hot day. Yes, uh, yes. Getting enough hydration today is going to be a real issue. We've got nothing but sunshine today. Yes. So stay safe and keep hydrated up. Um, yes. We've had some, we've shared a pot of tea as well. Yes, well, it's, as I say, it's, it's wonderful, thank you. I mean, yeah. I, having, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether you was there at the time, Janet, but I, I collapsed on Tuesday when I was walking. Uh -huh. Uh, having gone up some steps a little bit quick and I got dizzy at the top and I was out like a light. Right. Now, and on that subject, Jim, could, could, could you just repeat what you, what you said to me about what you thought it was? The T it's called a uh, TIS, TIA, which is a transient ischemic attack. Yes. And it's like a very mini stroke. It's to do with blood supply to the brain. It isn't generally life-threatening, but it is a warning that you know, you've got to take cognizance of it and um, and learn how to deal with the stroke if ever that should come along. Right. Um, probably a dehydration problem, I would reckon. Right. You know, the, the lifestyle you follow would suggest that you're dehydrated on a permanent basis. Right. You need three litres a day. Three litres of water and a day. Probably right. more in this heat. Yes. This heat. Yeah, a little bit more. Yes, well... you'll be sweating and... Yes, I mean, funnily, funnily enough, I don't seem to sweat, and, and I, 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 in the morning my habit is I have three pint mugs of tea before I even leave the caravan, good start. Good which start. is a good start, and that's proceeded from, from the night before, where I've usually had four pints of, of Stella beer, so I think I'm quite well hydrated. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm pulling a face there, you noticed on yeah. the, the, the downside of alcohol is it the diuretic, so it tends to encourage you to lose as much water, if not more, than you're drinking in. So yes, I'm not. I'm not that with some water. And yes, stuff, yes. So. Well, I, I, and I also I, I also have a, 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 a two liter bottle, bottle of water in and a small bottle, so I'm I'm never out of water. Good for you. And I'm always gagging for a cup of tea. Some of my viewers say the The most Burnley important that. thing is you're doing what you love. Most people um, are ill because of stress. Yes. Stress is the biggest killer in the Western world because nearly everybody's under stress of some kind. And your lifestyle is very stress free. And yes. um, that will promote longevity. You, you will have a good right. and happy life, I think, and good health. Uh, in spite of the little setbacks. Yeah. Just Go for it. Don't stop. Well, thank you very much indeed. I mean, that, that's, that you've just said everything that I think. You know, I, I really believe that you're right on that. I'll just hold for a second. Yeah. Sorry about that. It was like a micro light, which I thought was going to fly over us, but it's turned off now. So, so you were saying about, about you, you, you think, uh, I'm going to be all right then, I'm going to live. Oh, for sure. You can live happily. That's the important thing. <laughs> if you can decre decrease the stress levels in your life, your, it's a recipe for longevity. Yes. And everybody should listen to it. And it's the one thing our doctors aren't telling us. Right. You know, they know how to deal with stress. They give you antidepressants and stuff like that. Yes. But dealing with stress is about lifestyle. Yes. It's about what you care about and what you shouldn't care about. Yes. And if everybody learned to handle their stress without getting too emotional, once you're under stress, your liver starts behaving badly. You're bumping out adrenaline yep. and cortisol. Yeah. And you're pumping that into the bloodstream, so you'll get a fight or flight response. Right. The liver will dump blood sugar into the bloodstream. Um, and you'll be like that, you know. Right. That's interesting. Because I'm writing a book as well, by the way. I've started. It's taken me quite a while to get through the first to write the first paragraph, I would say maybe a couple of months actually, but the, the opening line for the, for the uh, book is, I've completely and utterly wasted my whole life having a bloody good time. <laughs> and of course that's not, a, it's never a waste of life, is it? Exactly. Having a bloody good time. Exactly. That's what it's all about. And so, so I, I, thank you, you, you're confirming it. You know, I, 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 I stress about minor things. I don't stress about it too. I, I, I've had it's been quite stressful. What the reason I came on this walk really was to get away from a lot of stress under yeah. the circumstances. We walked but, across the Bernese Oberland for our honeymoon <coughs> 32 years ago. Yeah. Wow. We walked from Liechtenstein to Montreux, over the tops. Right. It was ten mountain passes. I think it was ten mountain passes. There was snow on the top. It was June. And so you had to take ski poles at the very least, but you didn't need ice axes or anything. And we did that every day. You did a mountain pass each day yes. for 16 days. Wonderful. But being outside and we for can. us and probably <clears throat> seems like for you too is, is a very distressing sort of way to being out in nature, being out in the elements. Yes. Being um, able to sort of walk and with your own thoughts. Yes. It's quite distressing. So yeah. it works for us. And yes. It works for most people, I think. Absolutely. Mm. Well, I'm as free as a bird. <laughs> it, it, in that, I, I can do what I want, if you understand mm. what I mean. I can get up what time I want, I go to bed what time I want, do what I want, and sit, you know, mm -hmm. anything really. And, and it's been lovely. And, and you know, this... The other I, thing. I am serious about writing a book about it because sure. there's one side of it which is the, the side that you see on the vlog which is the, the physical stuff, the walking and the people you meet but the book is about all of my thoughts and, and why I made some of the decisions and, and it might refer to some of the films and some of the things that happened. What you should do is title it Impress Who? <laughs> Alright, because you don't play music to impress other people or if you do you're wrong. You should press it because it's, it's from your soul. Yes. And you, you play music because it's from your soul. Yes, of course. And similarly, the walking you do is not to impress other people. It's because it's good for your soul. Yes. And um, and I think that's probably the big message in what you're doing. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more with you. And, and, and I've come across quite a few people. I, I came across one guy. I'm walking anti-clockwise. And, and I met him down somewhere near... It was definitely... It was in Cornwall somewhere. And he was walking 
clockwise. Uh -huh. The coastal path right around Great Britain. Yeah, and this was in the winter. I, walk, I walked I walked the southwest coastal path all right through last winter. And uh, he was doing it for mind, I think. Oh, uh, yes. And he said he'd got mental health problems in, in, in or, you know, not mel not serious, mm. but, but it, you know, he found that walking was the best thing possible best to recommend therapy. to anybody. Yeah, mm. best therapy. And, and, and I, I really believe that, I, I believe that to be true. Yeah. You know. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah. Very nice to speak to you. I know you're busy and you've I'm got... I'm getting a numbum. <laughs> yeah, you really. Well, that's all right. <laughs> lovely to meet you and, uh, and thank you very much indeed for your hospitality. Thank it's been you. wonderful. You're more than welcome. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, been, it's been a, a lovely half an hour we've had. Thank you very much. Well, you're an inspiration. You really are. We should introduce you to some of our patients, probably. <laughs> Thank well, you. Some we'll of them, some of them can't walk. Right. We'll introduce your yeah. blog yes. to, to others. Well, I'm Thank 71 you. tomorrow. All right. It's my oh, birthday. Happy birthday. Same day as Mick Jagger. All oh, right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, same day. But, Another uh, Leo. Uh, yes. You're both Leos. You're both Leos. So they're three Leos together then. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's something about Leos. It's, yeah. We're all a bit nutty, aren't and we? And we were in China and Singapore for a while, and um, we're both Year of the Tiger, aren't we? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You so take care. What year was that, then, if you don't mind asking? Uh, well, it's a wee while ago. Right, yeah. OK, OK. Nice to meet you. Thank you. you. Too. you Bye too, now. Too. Bye.